Welcome to Offutt Air Force Base. I'm Staff Sergeant Rochelle Blake. And I'm Senior Airman Rachel Hammes. And we'd like to invite you to take a journey with us through time, beginning in the early 1890s. This building you see behind me is the oldest building on Offutt, a blacksmith shop built in 1893 at what was then called Fort Crook. Fort Crook was an army fort named after General George Crook, who I like to think made a name for himself for having amazing sideburns. A large majority of the Fort Crook soldiers were housed right off the parade grounds in these barracks. Today, the barracks are used as offices to include the military personnel section. Right across their front lawn stood Officer's Row, now commonly referred to as General's Row. Those homes still stand and have been placed on the National Historic Register. If you drive by, you will see two flags posted outside of each home. One is the American flag, the other is the flag of the General Officer's Branch of Service. Also on the parade grounds, you'll find the oldest continuously working prison in the nation. Flash forward about 40 years, and Fort Crook took on a new mission in the form of Offutt Field, an airfield named after Lieutenant Jarvis Offutt, an Omaha native and pilot killed during World War I. Fort Crook was tasked with producing aircraft for World War II. First came the Martin Bomber Building Assembly Plant, now commonly referred to as Building D. Today, it is host to the Bowling Alley, the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, the Logistics Readiness Squadron, and several others. Right behind Building D stands Building C, where the Martin Bomber Company performed administrative operations. Today, it is home to Airmen and Family Readiness, Finance, the Education Office, and many others. The third major Martin Bomber building to remain standing is the Modification Center. Now known as the Offutt Fieldhouse, it is one of the largest gyms in the Air Force. It wasn't long after World War II ended that Fort Crook became Offutt Air Force Base and host to Strategic Air Command, the overseer of U.S.'s nuclear arsenal. As you can see, there are several stories above ground, but what you cannot see is below my feet is an underground facility. In 1992, Strategic Air Command became U.S. Strategic Command. In 1966, the 55th Wing moved to Offutt from Forbes Air Force Base, Kansas. Today, the Wing's mission centers on intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, electronic attack, and command and control. Our aircraft are maintained out of the Benny Davis Maintenance Facility. Prior to its completion, our maintainers would have to battle the elements on our flight line. Today, they have five large bays to bring the aircraft into for maintenance. Personnel-wise, Offutt Air Force Base is the largest in Air Combat Command and the second largest in the Air Force, with more than 10,000 personnel. The area is also home to 16,000 family members and 11,000 retirees, most of whom you can find right here in the commissary on any given morning. Like most bases, the base is like a small town. We have 4,004 acres of land on and off base, and on our property we have three shopettes, a commissary, base exchange and mini mall, two child development centers, a lemon lot, two chapels, post office, aero club, clinic, dormitories, and housing. We are also host to more than 40 tenant units, with the largest being U.S. Strategic Command and the 57th Weather Wing. This is the Air Force's only weather wing. The 57th Weather Wing delivers worldwide weather products to Air Force locations. and Army warfighters, unified commands, national programs, and the National Command Authorities. With all of that, you would think they could pull some strings around here. So that's a quick tour of Offutt Air Force Base. Outside our gates is the city of Bellevue, part of the greater Omaha metro area. This is a great place to raise a family, and the community is well known for being a huge supporter of the DOD. On behalf of the 55th Wing Commander, welcome to Offutt Air Force Base. 